So in this session, we're going to see what is big data, how data loses value over time, the day-to-day -day challenges that we face with data, and we're going to explore a little bit about the data set for our project. So what is big data, first of all? So the big data is a term for, according to the IEEE, it's when you need to deal with massive data sets with a variety and complex structure, okay? As we said before, let's say that you're going to have maybe a lot of data that it comes in JSON, a lot of images maybe where you need to extract some metadata, which is basically data about data, right? In this case, for example, the pixels of a picture, something like that, that maybe you need for your product. And the complex structure, for example, if you try to download tweet from Twitter, when I say a tweet is, for example, a comment that someone did on Twitter, you will see that the structure of this is quite complex, okay? It's semi-structured data still. It's something called JSON, okay, that probably you are familiarized with, but if you don't, don't worry. We're going to see everything from scratch in this course. So that's when we talk about data being complex, okay? Also, we have the difficulties of storing and analyzing this data. As we know, every day that we produce more and more data, for example, if you see here on your right side here in this graph, what you see here is this evolution, right, of data. As you can see here, these are the hours of video, okay, being recorded, being recorded in YouTube, okay, per, for example, in this case, by month, right? So this is February 2020. So as you can see, we are ingesting a lot and a lot of data, okay, as the time goes by. So we need to somehow store all this and process it, okay? Why we need to process it? Because we need to analyze it, okay? One of the most impactful ways of analyzing data is through visual representations, right? We work with our eyes normally, so it's it's really helpful when we can see the data in something like this, in a visualization similar like this. Okay. Now, what is this? I, I love this diagram. This is, you can see here the source, okay? Sorry. This is from Mike Golteri. This diagram represents something that I can see every day. What, what this means is that you're going to store data, right? E for your platform, for your future analysis, etc. Okay, for example, from your bank, you need all the transactions because you're going to be audited, for example, let's say every month, right? What this means is that as soon as you ingest data, for example, in the first seconds, as soon as your data arrives in your business, you need to take some decisions. Normally, these are very time critical decisions. For example, let's say that you uh, manage a portfolio for uh, some stock exchange, okay? So for example, let's say that you manage this portfolio for multiple customers, then basically basically they, they trust you, right? So you need to take very time critical decisions to sell or buy stock in the market, okay? And you need to take those decisions in real time, which means maybe in, in less than 500 milliseconds, that share has increased 20%, right? Maybe, maybe because of some news in, 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 the, in the newspaper. That's when you need to react, right? So in your platform, you will have these kind of use cases, right, for your data. Now, you may have another one. Maybe you need to take decisions on the data after minutes, okay? For example, let's say that you are a local newspaper, okay? You need to possibly see trending topics for your city, okay? So you need to analyze Twitter, for example, uh, but you cannot take decisions on seconds be because you need your data set to be bigger because you need more people maybe to talk about that, trend that possible trending topic to make sure that the data is reliable, right? From a, let's say, from a, a reporter perspective, okay? Now, Let's say also that we have a different users, okay? For example, business intelligence users. What the business intelligence will, will try to do is they will try to focus on this 
historical data set. Why? Maybe, for example, if you have certain data for months, maybe you will be able to predict and to do a forecast for the next months. Okay? So different consumers for different types of data. So this is exactly what, what we were talking about. So we're going to have multiple applications uh, using uh, uh, this part of the data. Okay, so we understood that part. We're going to have data scientists, for example, who might be more focused on hours and days. We're going to have business intelligence tools. Where normally, they will be more comparing, for example, uh, year over year. Okay, so that uh, for, for those cases, they will require the historical data set, right? And also, we will have uh, uh, other applications like, for example, uh, Jupyter Notebooks, right? Where they will analyze part of the data just to create a data model, okay? Another challenge is, let me disable my pencil. So uh, another challenge is, so do you think a single production DB can handle all these users? Okay, we're going to talk about this in the next session. Feel free to take a break. See you in a second. See you in.